this is Annie from Vintage Lace Journal and a big hello to all my subscribers. I have been absolutely blown away by the amount of people joining my um, channel lately. So thank you so much and hello to you if you are a new subscriber. Um, yeah, I have so many lovely comments. I can't begin to say how much it means to me when someone says, oh, your project has inspired me to do something. That's why we're here. That's why creators do things. We borrow things from other people. We make them our own. Um, and you might not follow their channel, so you might get to their channel through my channel or you might get to my channel through someone else's channel. Um, but as a community in the craft, I think we are all so good at sharing and caring. Um, and some of the comments, are, like I said, have been absolutely fantastic. So thank you. Hello and welcome. Now, today we are going to make a one page wonder. But this is an A4 or US letter size. It doesn't matter as long as you do the folds the same as I show you. And that will end up creating this little journal um, so it will open up like this and then you have a pocket at the top a pocket at the side a pocket at the top and a pocket at the side now this is what's called a I think it's a zine it reads zine z-i-n-e but it's a zine um, but what I've done is instead of leaving the zine open I've glued in certain areas to create these pockets. So if you Google um, zine, Z-I-N-E, you'll get lots and lots of different versions of this. Okay, so let's make a start on what we need to do. So first of all, you have your paper and you have it long ways. And you're going to fold the bottom up to the top, taking care to really make sure your edges align. Okay, so it's worthwhile on this step, really taking your time. And then when you do your fold as well, get um, a tool, a, a side of a pen, anything you've got to really pull down on that jaw. Okay, to make that nice crease. Okay, so there we go. One crease that way. We're now going to take our paper and fold in half the other way. So from left to right or right to left, again, joining up those corners. And then really giving that a good old burnish. Okay, so leave your paper like this. Now you're going to take one of the layers. I'm going to take the top one to start off with. And I'm going to fold that back on itself. Okay, so I folded it that way. I'm now folding it back on itself. Okay, and again, lining up those corners. And then giving that a real good crease. Okay, now fold, turn the whole thing over and repeat the process on the back. So you're folding it back on itself. So lining up the corners. And then giving that a real good crease. So what you'll end up with when you open this is a W shape or an M shape. And you'll have one line that goes across this way and you'll have one, two, three lines that go down the other way. OK, and that is all the folding you need to do. Now, I'm going to put my fold. So my long one is coming down the middle and my three sideways ones are going like this. What you're now going to do is get a um, knife and ruler. Or you can use scissors or you can use a cutting tool if you're really good at cutting tools doing this. And you're going to literally cut down this line here. OK, so where I've got that score line, I'm sure on that side's better. Where I've got that score line here, I'm going to cut from there down to there. So again, taking your time to make sure you're really straight and lined up. And... Happy with that. So in between that score line, the centre two, you're going to score and stop. And that will give you an opening just in this part here. OK, now I've got my this is obviously um, what we call valley mountain valley. So my mountain is at the top because it goes up. OK, so have your mountain up a little bit and take these two pieces and then bring them in like that. So I'll show you again. So I've got my split here, my lines down the middle, my three lines are this way. I'm going to take those two up and then pull them apart. And that then creates our little booklet. 
Okay, so what you need to do now is take your time making sure all of these edges now line up. I'm going to go back in again with my um, scoring tool to really flatten those edges, making sure that none of them, like this one here, can you see, that doesn't quite line up. So I just need to pull that top one over just a little bit and then re-score, uh, sorry, re-burnish that line. Okay, and that fixes that straight away. Now, the first, um, when you do this, you'll have your spine here, not an open part, okay? So the first one is going to have an opening at the top. The second one will have an opening at the side. Then you'll have an opening at the top, and then you'll have an opening at the side. So the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to glue this in the right places to make those um, pockets. So the first piece of glue we're going to do is obviously I want to make a pocket. Um, my front cover will be there. I want to make a pocket from this one. So I need to glue up the bottom. So I'm just going to lift that here. And actually I'm going to put a bead of glue. If I lift it completely, just down this edge here and along the bottom. Okay, so that's created our first top pocket. Our next pocket is going to be a side pocket, so therefore I'm going to glue down the bottom. Oh, I'm going to stop there. One thing I wanted to do before I started gluing is round the corners. Now the reason I'm going to do this now is because this is um, not paper, but like copy paper, it's slightly thicker, not a lot thicker, but once those layers are together it's a lot trickier to round the corners. So on the whole thing, I'm just going to round the corners. You don't have to round the corners on yours, obviously, if you don't want to. I just think it gives a nicer look. Whoa. I think it might be time to sharpen my... Um... If you don't want to sharpen these, we get some tin foil. Um, and cut a few pieces of tin for that should sharpen up your blade. Okay, so first page we glued down the bottom. Next page along again, this will be a side pocket, so we're just going to glue this edge together here. So, run some glue down the side. And I'm going to stop about there. I'm not going to go all the way to the top because that just gives us that little opening to the pocket. And when you glue these together, um, if you glue them down, can you see that pulls it apart again? When you're gluing it up, these two match at the top. So when I glue, I just hold it up. Just so that pocket can come in there. Okay, so that's our side pocket. So the next, one's is, next one is going to be a top pocket. So again, we're just going to glue down the bottom. And then our last one is another side pocket. So again, glue along the bottom again, but not right up to the top. And there we go, that's all our gluing done. So that will have now created a pocket at the top, pocket at the side, pocket at the top, pocket at the side. So now I've actually made the base of our book, here is a fun part which is decorating it. Now obviously you can decorate this with whatever papers you've got, whatever theme you want to do. This could be for somebody's birthday, you could put some little cards in here. Um, you might be going on holiday or to a, a concert. I know lots of my friends' children have been to see the Harry Styles concert in the UK. Um, so there'll be lots of memorabilia pictures for that. I'm going to usually, like I did on this one, I'm using these for journaling and these parts here for pictures. So this, I've um, done a lot of layering in here. Made a little postcard pocket. Again, things you can just stick things on. Inside here, these are little stamp set I have, I've just stamped on there. Another little pocket. 
and obviously another journaling card in the back there so again however you want to um decorate yours that's fine so today i'm going to be using a new pad i've bought and um, this was from um the range this is uk and it's another travel pad but this one's got lovely blues and greens which i think always reminds you of them forests and the ocean so lovely pictures in here it's a whole page of words you can cut out um there's a whole page of kind of like sentiments at the back for a scrapbooker um fantastic this isn't 12 by 12 i'm not actually sure how big this one is it is nine and three quarters by nine and three quarters so it's a different size really um lots of lovely pictures and images in here I love these little aeroplanes. I think they're great. Sand. So yeah, I'm going to be using that pad. So first and first, I've chosen some papers I'm going to use. Um, and I'm also using a Tim Holtz Distress Ink because I'm like the same I did on this one. Um, I'm going to ink around the edges of all my pages in the brown as I do each one. So to start off with, I'm going to do my front cover. A lovely fun job of inking but it makes the pages look so much better in my opinion you might not like inking we might ink in different colors everyone's individual and again i put my thumb on there with some ink on it doesn't matter because i'll probably cover that with paper um another happy accident as i say okay so front cover i'm going to choose this airplane paper and again, um, I'm just going to put it on here and mark with a pencil. That's my preference to cutting. You can also um, measure. It's up to you how you wish to do things. There we go. Still haven't changed the blade on here yet. It's one of my jobs to do. So again, um, corner rounders, so corner rounding. This around there, and around there. And because my blade's so shocking, I've just got this little um, sanding pad. Just take the edges off. Well, it's a bit fluffy. Okay, I'm going to bring in um, an acrylic block. I just find it easier to ink onto that, rather than going onto my mat, which then makes my mat dirty. I could bring another mat in, but my one's a great big glass one, so it's just easier to whip around with that. Okay, and then I'm going to just stick that on the front. And the other day on one of my videos, I made some clusters. So all those scrap pieces of paper and things we have underneath here, if you can see, that's a cluster. Um, so I've got another one of those out. There we go. So I just had some tea dyed paper. I then had some scrapbook paper that was left over, a bit of diction, German dictionary, a bit of um, doily. And I'm just going to ink around the edges of that. And that's going to form the basis for my... Down and parts. So I'll just pop that on there with some glue. I'm quite liking this new glue because I usually use Colal glue, um, but I thought I'd just give something else a try. It's, it's quite good. Again, it dries clear, so if I make a mess like I do, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to stick that down. There we go. And then what I'm going to do, which I did on my other one, is I've got some stamps. Um, obviously. Everyone's got different stamps. My local craft shop, Craft Mania in Great Yarmouth, um, I'll link them below because they do actually do um, free delivery if you spend £5, which I think is amazing. Most companies now are way over £30, £35 for free delivery. Um, and there's a, it's just a little gem of a shop. I got these um, for a pound. They're selling off loads of old stamps. I think you have to go in store to kind of get these kind of thing. But they do some amazing offers. Um, a lot of their things are from Creative Expressions. Um, but they also have lots of other stuff in there. Loads of little um, scrapbook papers, all sorts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a piece of 
scrap paper and I'm just going to stamp this one which says travel journal and I'm putting this onto some old ledger paper that I've just coffee dyed so plonk that on there so I've done it again if I was thinking straight I should have turned it and perhaps done it this way and could have got more than one out of here but never mind more for the scrap tray and just fussy cut around the edges I find smaller scissors easier to use some people like bigger scissors whatever's your preference and then again just pop some glue on there to stick over my cluster There we go. And I'm just going to do some other little bits of stamping. On this one, um, I stamped some script first to give it that kind of look. And I've obviously got the postal stamp here, so I'm going to use that one again. Move off the page. There we go. So that's front cover done. Now I'm going to do the back cover and on this one I just used a different piece of the paper from the kit, uh, pad sorry. But this time I think I'm going to use this nice green wavy paper. So again just coming in, lining it up top and bottom. I'm just making a little mark where I'm going to cut. I won't keep bringing my um, cutting. I'm just obviously using this trimmer. I don't need to keep bringing it in and out. So that way, I'm just going to round those two corners and again just round off the edges. So I want this one to look, be a kind of like a vintage look. There we go. And again, just in with the glue. You could put a pocket on the back if you wanted to as well. You never have enough pockets in a journal. And there we go. And that does cover up that nasty mark I made. See? Happy mistake. Fabulous. No one will ever know. So I said you can put a pocket on the back if you want to. For time's sake, I'm going to leave that just for now. And I'm going to start moving on to the middle. Um, so all I did on this one was just take some scraps of paper and started to mark the inside. So it's I kind of like did um God, the word doesn't come to my mind at the minute. I've had one of those days today. I've been on a school trip with 60 children. Not just me obviously, but to the zoo, which was great fun until there was a thunderstorm. Uh, my brain's a bit frazzled tonight. Collage. There we go. Word comes to me. So I'm going to collage with these papers. So I'm just going to tear down. With any other collage I do, I always use um, glue stick. This is just from a local supermarket, nothing special. There are other brands out there. So I'm going to pop that down there. Come in with a bit of this. Paper, just use those scraps up while they're there. Collaging is great fun, you can just take all your little scrappy bits, just stick them down. Come in with my little watermark again.
And I think I'll just use another little stamp there. So I'm going to use uh, this stamp just says Destination Adventure. Are you going to fit that on there? Yes, you are. It does make me laugh. My um, desk I'm working on now is probably about four foot long. And I craft in about a 12 inch space. The rest of it's absolutely covered in all sorts. Now, this is an old part of a book page. And as you can see here, it's got quite a large piece of just um, blank page. These are really good for keeping for things like this. So I can use this to now pop that on there. And because it, it's um, quite an old book, it gives it that vintage look. So these brownie type papers are brilliant. I think that's a fold there. There you go. I don't cut right up to the black. I leave a little bit of the um, colour showing through. Go around. There you go. There we go, first page done. So again, it's a collage that you could then stick a photograph on top. Next page, I'm going to do a pocket. Packaging, fabulous for pockets. This was a box that something came in and it's kind of like that corrugated. It's really hard to get all of this off, I must admit. There must be a tip. If you know some way how to get this off, easy. I sit there picking at it for ages. Um, but it's really great to use in projects. I'm going to use it as a pocket down the bottom. Let's measure roughly how big I want it. Let's straighten that up a bit. There we go. Let's right, go have a little bit of ink. Oh, that was black on a brown. Whoops. See, this is a trouble. If you don't tidy up as you craft along, I've now got black ink on my brown dauber. <laughs> That's not a happy mistake. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to pop that in there. I might just um, make this page a little darker so it's not so stark white. And then just glue down the edges. And this also gives it a bit of texture as well. I think sometimes when you're making journals, it can be quite flat. There we go. Now that's another page done. And obviously I'll um a little tag left over there. Are you gonna fit? Yes you are. So I'm gonna round the corners of that. Perfect size. And round the edge again. Feel your bingo wings flap as you go along. There we go. That's another little tuck spot in there. Okay, next page. I am, again, going to just do some collage. All sorts of them. This, <laughs> this was a little box that started off with all little bits and pieces in it. Um, I'm going to show you. It's spilling out. It's absolutely everywhere. So, um, yeah, need a bigger box. Or we'll need to make some more clusters. Oh, that's quite sweet. There's a little butterfly on there. So, any collage I do, in with a crit stick. Page. 
a little bit of brown card. Packaging paper this is, which is fabulous. Digging through the scraps box. Another good thing to use as well is um, greaseproof paper. It's slightly see through, as you can see, which also gives quite a good good look. Can't write on it though very well, I don't think. So obviously, just be mindful if you're using this to write on, to then go over this with something else. And I can still see that writing through here. So I'm going to put something quite central on here. So I'm going to come back in with my stamps again. There we go, got this one. So pop that down. Make it up. Again, another book page. This has got right on the back, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to cut it out. Whoops. That went a bit skewy. Okay. All right, so then cut that out. Um, a lot of people have been saying about trying ideas. So obviously any projects I've done, um, I'm going to try this. If you do have like an Instagram channel or um, a YouTube and you do um, a project please show me because I'd love to see what you're all getting up to as well you always find inspiration from each other so I think it's really good to to share there we go and then pop that in the middle there so that's a nice little collage page um, also a really good thing to use on journals as well I always find is just bog standard paper clips um, they're just fabulous I think if you've got something that you want to put on there for example, um, a ticket, you don't want to go over this, you just come in with your paper clip and it's there. So yeah, paper clips, don't underestimate them. Okay, I think I'm going to do another, oh, I'm going to do a belly band. So belly bands are always really good for just holding things inside your journal. And I'm going to use, what have we got here? I'm going to use this side of the paper. I just realised I haven't inked this page yet, which I thought it looked a bit white. I'm just going to go round and ink that. That's better. Okay, so again, I'm just going to hold the paper up to there, mark how far I want it to go down, and roughly about say wide I trim as I buried in paper okay so just trim your belly band down bring back in my acrylic block There we go. And then with the belly band, because obviously you want to put things um, in and out, we just glue at the top and at the bottom and leave that as a little tuck spot in there. So glue at the top, glue at the bottom. There we go. And pop that in there nice and easy. And again, rather than me spend time doing this that was just a stamp i stamped onto some just plain um i think it was just an old um, greeting card it's like a linen effect that i'd stamped on and it seeped everywhere so yeah just stamped that on there went over a little bit black ink again and again that can be popped in there and again you can write on the back of that there we go in there so we now come to our last ooh, two pages which have stuck together I must have over glued. So, round the edge with the ink. I need to buy a new um, pad. 
this one brown ink's always the one I use the most and it's getting a bit frayed there we go so where that's just caught with the glue I'm going to cover that up with a pocket a little bit of different colour paper I think I'm going to use this one and I'm just going to make that a side pocket there and just lift that up slightly from the edge and I'm not going to glue right down the bottom I'm just going to have that there such a messy crafter I know I say that but some crafters are tidy space is so tidy <laughs> I sort of finished doing a project like a bomb's gone off there we go so I don't need to round into these corners it's going to get rid of those fluffy bits and just ink around the edges And because it's a pocket, obviously, I'm just going to stick the three sides, making sure I've got the right side. There we go. And that's going to be a little pocket on the inside. And I think I'm just going to do another belly band I'll just use the paper this side again mark down and glue top and bottom There we go, it's a nice contrasting colour actually. I think it's lovely when you've got a paper pad to work with or a lot, I know a lot of people use um, sets they buy from Etsy. These are all kind of like browns and greens, which I like. There we go, so it's just another little tuck spot in there. So just come on, something like that. And let's pop that in there. Now, the last thing we need to do is to make the cards that go in the top and the bottom so when I did this one I just cut down some paper inked around the edges and I've just stapled some little um, pieces of ribbon on there and the pocket I put glued it up then let's go in that one and that one and then the same for the little side pockets. So I just got some paper, cord around it, inked around the edges, and just made some little tabs from the paper pad. And these just tuck in those side pockets there. Little tabs from pieces of paper, so easy to make. You just get your piece of paper, fold it in half, and then you don't stick it all the way down because obviously it wants to be a tab. You just glue the whole of the inside of that. So I glue the whole of the inside, put it onto my card and then push it down. And that creates your little tab. And then obviously that goes in the back pocket. There. So two journals, fairly similar, but different depending on what materials you use. And obviously if you were going to use some completely different colored papers, um, stamp sets they would be completely different as well so i hope i've inspired you again today to make one of these little travel journals um, using up scraps and packaging and all sorts of things and there we go so thank you once again for my new subscribers my new um followers i'm hoping that um it keeps going because it's absolutely fantastic it's making me really really happy so thanks a lot and i'll see you again soon bye